Hey guys, it's Chris with Killer Arcade Games, and I'm back for another Gameplay Mondays. Uh, really quick before I get started, let's look at the screen here. This game is uh, Maximum Force. I, I should have probably said that ahead of time. The emulation has a problem with it, apparently, and this is what the uh, caption screen looks like. I'm sorry, not the caption screen, the initial screen. So, really weird, but okay. So, anyway, <laughs> there we go. Let's get a better screen going. So this is being played on my modified Arcade 1UP cabinet where I heavily modified it, cut the whole top off this cabinet and put a 32 inch screen on top. Why did I do that? Well, I wanted to have 25 inches of play field for pointing the gun at it, like so. I can now have what is basically like playing the real arcade size screen. So that's why I did that on this one. Uh, you may be new to the channel, you're wondering what is Gameplay Mondays? Well, it's where I just play games on Monday give you guys something to distract you from your horrible Monday you may be having. This game is apparently just really broken attract mode wise, but anyway, you may be having a crappy Monday, you're stuck at work, you're stuck at school, you're getting home after work or school, and you just wanna hang out, relax, watch somebody talk, and play some games. Well, that's what this is. Maybe you've never thought of that, but hopefully you'll enjoy it, so here we go. Or not, the game's broken, okay. So apparently this game breaks, I guess, after it sits on the attract mode too long. Let's try again. Take two. Okay. I'm just gonna go through all of the levels. This game has a disappointing ending. Oh, bump my mic. This game has a really disappointing ending in the way that it has no ending, essentially. It just kind of is like, all right, you beat the game, or you finish the story, let's restart. And that's pretty much all it does. Now, it's possible that I'm seeing this broken emulation and thinking maybe... Uh, maybe it's the emulation's fault. So, I'm sure some new people will see this video. I'll just try to answer the questions right away. The gun I'm using is a, uh, modified real arcade gun. The real arcade gun. I'm not saying it's a real arcade gun. I'm saying that's the brand name. It has the recoil effects that, uh, kind of similar to what, I guess, Time Crisis had in arcades. You know, it, it blows back. I don't know much about these, but the guts have been turned into an aim track set of guts. Yes, I have a white border around my screen, but that's because I've prepared ahead of time and downloaded a uh, bezel pack from the Sindin people. So, got a hair in my mouth. Anyway, uh, the Sindin people are supposed to be sending me a gun or a set of guns. They were supposed to be here a long time ago, and I'm sure you guys have heard this story before if, if you know anybody's ordered Sindin guns. So, Brad D on YouTube, go check him out. Sent me two of these guns with blowback, which are pretty awesome actually. Uh, the aim track internals are fine with me, it's all I've ever had before, so I, I wasn't complaining to keep using aim track guns. A lot of people ask me, um, why don't I do, you know, I have two guns. Oh, I'm supposed to kill this guy. Why don't, I'm trying to blow up the car. <laughs> anyway. Why don't I just dual wield when I play these games? Well, I find that to be incredibly distracting. And this gun is kind of noisy enough, so we don't need to make more noise. But I, I'm gonna really miss the recoil if I end up fully switching to those send-in guns when I get it. Oh, machine gun. So let's turn automatic fire on, on the gun. I feel bad killing people on jet skis. That's kind of like one of my favorite hobbies. <laughs> oh well, they had it coming though, right? It'd be really awesome if the game could like tell the gun, he's using automatic bullets right now, switch to automatic mode. But I have to do that manually, which is still cool. I already, I'm already getting tired of holding the gun like a proper person, so I'm going lazy mode. We're going down low. You can still see it. It's, it's a Monday. I am recording this on Monday and I'm pretty tired. I'll be honest with you guys. All right, shotgun time again. My Mondays have not been fun lately. It was it was the kind of Monday today where when I got home, I was like, well, at least it's Tuesday and it's Wednesday tomorrow. And then I was like, crap, it's still Monday. I genuinely thought it was two days worth of work today. I've been uh, doing a lot of physical stuff at work too. I mean, my job's kind of physical anyway. I walk around and carry stuff and do stuff and get under houses occasionally and go into attics, so. Uh, I think there's like a trick if you shoot these mines, by the way, or a secret. Anyway, so last few Mondays though, or last few weeks, I have been really taking a beating in the leg department and 
I know you guys see, oh, it's just a fat guy playing video games, but like the legs are like the only thing I really exercise. <laughs> like I love biking and stuff, mountain biking. So I go biking a lot. My legs are in great shape, but I'm still somehow coming home sore some days. Oh, this was a game I didn't really play in arcades. By the time this hit arcades, I was kind of already moving on. I'm trying to see if there's any, I know there's like special things if you shoot certain areas and all that. But anyway, this came out in um, arcades probably right after I left arcades or when I was kind of losing interest as a teenager and wanting to go do other things. Not that I ever really lost interest, but you don't meet a lot of ladies when you're hanging out at the arcade. And that's what I wanted to do and I was, I was moving on. I wish chicks were attracted to skills like combo skills on Killer Instinct and uh, being, look, my initials are on all these arcade games. They don't care. They don't care one bit. So <laughs> I had to go do something else in order to meet them. Oh, get out of here. You almost got it. What are you doing looking for treasure? That was a skull on there. Do not enter. Just shoot all the stuff. Why not? So I missed out on this game for sure. Um, it's basically, if, ooh, watch out now. It basically feels like Area 51. I mean, it essentially is just Area 50. Ooh, automatic. It essentially is Area 51 just with a different skin job put on it. I don't really remember how long this game actually is. There we go, we're in. I'm gonna be really lazy, guys. Please forgive me. And I'm sitting down on this stool. There we go. Oh, super lazy holding the gun like this. It's the one good thing about having the, uh, what is it? Crosshairs on the screen. If the crosshairs are on the screen, I can easily be lazy and play games. Otherwise, you kind of actually have to hold the gun somewhat like you're really shooting a gun, you know? Like, oh, automatic's gone. You have to hold it like this so you kind of know where you're pointing. I'm just doing like the Wiimote lazy move. This is running on MAME, by the way, so don't get mad at me if you click this video thinking it was the real arcade cabinet. I would love to tell you guys I have tons of real arcade games, but so far just one, and it's in the garage and I can't really play it. So I think there's something with shooting these nuclear boxes. Oh, I just shot that guy. And then I lost the thing I shot him for, so cool. Oh, this game was requested by somebody. Oh man, I'm gonna have to look and see who it was requested by after I'm done and put it in the video. Because I, I wanna keep trying to, you know, if I'm asking for requests, I wanna make sure I give credit to the people that are uh, requesting the games. So, if you wanna request a game, I'm gonna try to remember to leave a link in the description to the community section of my channel where I'll link to a post. Oh, got him. I'll link to a post that will show you where you can uh, give me suggestions. Now keep in mind, it has to be like a reasonable suggestion. Um, if I can't emulate the game or if I don't own the game in some way, I can't play a lot of them, of course. I would love it if arcades wouldn't mind if I showed up with all this equipment and let me stand around and use their machines and talk while I played a game, but they, I don't know, maybe they wouldn't mind, but then again, that adds a huge amount of work on my end to try to actually, you know, the only arcade I can go to really is out of town, so I have to go up to Austin. Um, that would add a lot of work for me. I went to Austin actually to record some footage for my cruising uh, blast review, so that was cool. It was a good excuse to go to the arcade, but I can't go there like every day as much as I'd like to. Well, eh, you know what? Oh, I should have just done that. So I know on one level, if you shoot the rats, if you shoot enough rats, you get to go to a special room. So that's about the only trick I know, and I'm not very good at shooting those tiny rats. The aim track guns are pretty good, but they're not perfect, so making sure I nail the shot is a little difficult. All right, I don't know if I was supposed to actually kill that thing or just shoot it a bunch. Oh, sorry, lady. <laughs> Did I not start at the first level? It feels like I missed a level in here somewhere. Like where, I thought the first level was the uh, bank 
like the outside of the bank or whatever? Maybe it's the second level. I don't know. We'll find out though, because I'm going to just play them all. Sorry I have to sit so far away, but these... Oh wait. Okay, I already did mission one. Okay, this is the level. Sorry I have to sit so far away, because the aim track guns are kind of calibrated at this distance, so this is kind of where I have to sit. It's the biggest downside of aim track guns. They're a little picky. I should have bought... Somebody sent me a link for a a better sensor bar, like a bigger one that has more range, apparently. And I never ended up buying it because I thought I would have had send-in guns by now. But I should have probably looked into that. So if anybody remembers that, if it was you who you know suggested it, please drop me another link in the description or tell me the name of it so I can go look it up because I cannot remember now. Hey, you can leave now, guy. You're making me want to shoot you. Oh. Shotgun. Ooh, I almost got that lady. I think there's something here. If you shoot the signs. Yes, there's a secret. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Oh my god, these are moving really fast. Let me hit these stationary objects. So, yeah, aim track does not do well with fast moving objects. It just does not reply or react quickly enough. I don't know, that was cool though. A little bonus. I gotta tell you, one game I really want that you can't emulate is Target Terror. That game, I don't know why, it's silly, it's ridiculous, but I like playing that. And there's actually one for sale not too far from me. And it's only $600, but I, I can't buy the full-size cabinet and just throw it in the garage and never play it. Besides, I'm saving my money for a Killer Instinct anyway. Um, Oh, man, I was mowing them down with my machine gun, too. But yeah, I'm saving my money for a killer instinct. Oh, I hit the wrong switch. There we go. But 600 for a decent condition, dedicated target terror, I don't think is terrible, but... What am I going to do with it, you know? I, it's the biggest problem with these games, is these get old quickly. These shooters, even though they let you pick the level, they do get kind of old pretty quickly. I had to shoot the water, see what happened. I would love to hear in the comments what your favorite light gun shooter game is. Um, I don't know that I have... I mean, you'd think Carnival would be my favorite, and it's definitely up there. I mean, I chose the art style for this cabinet to be Carnival, but I did it for kind of convenience pur purposes. I like the game a lot, and I like the art and everything. I love Midway games, so that was a big bonus, but the art just happened to line up perfectly if I was cutting the top off the cabinet. Uh, so I went with that art. Oh, she almost got it. I just know because she's dressed in white, she's a good person, right? If you wear white, you're not bad. Oh, I almost got the cop, though, because he looked like he was pointing a gun at me. Um, killed two people down there. I think it's kind of hilarious how the bodies just <laughs> turn into a, a blood splat. That's why I like, um, that's why I really like Target Terror. You can just tear up the bodies and blood goes everywhere, but they don't, they don't really just <laughs> into nothing. Pretty sure I accidentally found a secret in here one time, too. Maybe it's something to do with shooting the windows. Oh, come on. I don't know. Oh, yeah, wrong. I'm trying to reload with a button like an idiot. I'm used to playing Carnival where you reload by pressing the button instead of shooting off screen. Ugh. I love the sounds. Ugh, the chick. She got it. The other lady's all right, though. So this game is interesting in the way it works, which is... Oh, I almost shot her. Um, this game actually is just running video files in the background. That's what the background is. Videos and these characters pop up in front of it. Machine gun time. And that's, that's how Area 51 worked and all that, which is... Oh, God, I shot that guy. Which is cool, but 
it does kind of suck because all the characters start to look exactly the same after a while. I mean, I've killed that lady 50 times already, I'm sure. Missed that guy, but I really wanted to ruin that art. Uh-oh, I hear my cat trying to get in the room. <laughs> Cats don't like being excluded, apparently. Oh, no. Ah, whatever. This gun just got some serious zoom on it. Come on. Next score break, I gotta let the cat in. What a life. Oh no. Oh god, that's all right, I'll pop it open right now. Oh, and now she leaves. Never happy, I swear, these animals. Okay. I killed two guys there, apparently. Oh. Never quick enough. Oh, come on. I love the machine gun feature, but it's so noisy. And I feel like it's bad for the solenoids. You know, I don't think that they're gonna do very well if you just keep using that feature constantly. Oh man, I lost, I guess if you get hit, you lose it. Ooh, he's pooping. I don't know why I like shooting the cameras. I feel like there's some kind of secret relating to that. Oh, I thought we hit, okay, here's the end of that section. I don't think it's the end of the level. Whew, all right. Leave him alone, he was just pooping. Now he's peeing against the wall. Oh, oh God, <laughs> terrible. I guess that's where we're going. I'll be the bad kid and hit all the buttons. Oh, come on. Uh, I don't remember this level. Interesting, I guess you get to choose where you're going. I didn't even catch that. Is this where I'm going? Okay. Man, I don't recall dying so much before. Get out of here. Ooh, you almost got it. I w one game I wish I could bring home easily would be Silent Scope. I wish they'd made like a super fancy gun attachment where you could look through the scope and have a screen in there and all that, but I don't think they ever did that. I mean, if they did, let me know in the comments. I'll definitely look into it, but... I think that would be a fun game. Oh, God. Ah, can't hit her. So one issue I have with this aim track gun is I can hardly ever get to that corner, the bottom corner of the screen. It's very tough sometimes. Oh, I guess I'm getting in. Terrorist threat eliminated. Bank vault secured. Press start. <laughs> we'll let it play, might as well let it play. Yeah, I did a great job. The whole place just went up. <laughs> How does that even work? You're like, oh, it's fine. The whole building exploded. Great job. I killed 29 people. I felt like I, oh, that was in that section. I thought that was the whole level. Okay, mission three. And I think there's a, is there a fourth mission? I can't remember. I guess we'll find out. Pew. Oh, I remember this level. Jungle level with the same people in it, pretty much. This reminds me of the level from Revolution X, which I did, I think I did a gameplay Monday on Revolution X, or maybe I didn't call it that at the time, but I think there is a Revolution X playthrough on my channel. However, I'd be willing to do it again if you guys want to see me do it again. I don't care. I love that game. Uh-oh, Max going to sleep again. 
Okay. All right, it's back. So one of these levels has rats in it that you shoot, and that's how you get to the special stuff, but... Hey, that's a new lady. Probably just one of the other actresses in a different outfit, but... There we go. Ooh. Oh, she, she scared me. What are you gonna do? You in there? Nobody's in there. Haunted porta potty. Tires will gladly explode, by the way, if you shoot them. And I mean into fire, not just pop. I love the 90s. I think, was this a 90s game? I think it was like late 90s, maybe early 2000s, but. There we go. Uh-oh. Might want to take cover. Watch out, fella. There we go. Get that machine gun going again. It really ruins any streak you had going, though. That's... Oh. Stupid. Killed him. If you ask me, he had it coming. You hear gunfire, you hunker in place unless you have a weapon yourself, fella. Calling everybody fella today for some reason. Sorry, I'm trying to blow everything up in hopes that there's a secret room after this. Oh, I missed her. Oh my gosh. I'm just shooting these guys for no, no particular reason. It's a drive-by. Blow up your tire. Oh. So I wish I had some good stories for you guys as far as work stuff goes, but... If you guys don't know, if you're just finding the channel, I have a family pest control business, so I run into some weird stuff occasionally and have nasty stories and all that, but... The only story I, I can say is my cousin, who now works for us, was at a house the other day and the guy had his entire heroin kit just out on the, the counter. He took a quick picture of it and sent it to me and spoon was out, the needle. I was like, wow, you didn't want to clean up before we showed up, huh? Interesting people out there. I mean, I assume it's heroin. I don't know. I don't know anyone else who takes medicine that way. Could be wrong, though. Please don't cancel me if I said the wrong thing, anybody. Oh, Mr. Box Thrower up here. Take that, boxes. Not throwing nothing now. Ah. Oh, man, I keep hitting the button to reload. Shoot it all. Oh, man, he ruined my... That dude, I can't seem to hit that hippie guy. There he is. Now he got it. Freddie Mercury with a bad attitude. I don't think Freddie Mercury was a hippie, but you know what I mean. He looks like him a little bit. Oh. I didn't know who to shoot for a second. What are you doing in there? Oh, did I kill that guy technically? One thing that's kind of annoying is the barrels don't seem to kill anybody if you shoot them. They're standing behind them and they explode, but it doesn't kill them like it did on Area 51. Okay, I think this is where the rats are. I'll... I'm not even focusing on the people. Let's just kill the rats now. You know, that's like a developer of the game, just... They brought him in to be an actor that day. Wait, there's a rat. I feel like I'm at work. Where the heck are they all? They go running. Oh, and they make a funny noise too. Ew. Thankfully, I've never had to pull a gun on a rat. I mean, unless we're talking mob stuff. No, I'm kidding. I never did that either. Dude, these guys are really tough to hit. Just. Just like real rats, hard to kill. 
Oh. oh, I know I hit that rat, but it... Oh. Get out of here. I'm trying to kill rats. I suck, apparently. Oh. Cannot hit them. Oh, please, I'm... I'm shooting the rat. The rat is not dying. All right, we're not doing any rat uh, special stuff. Maximum force successfully applied. Chemical lab destroyed. Cartel headquarters obliterated. I think that's the end of the game. I don't think there's anything else. I think now since I still have life, it's just gonna be like, well, you wanna play again? Till you die or, you know, get bored? Let's see what happens. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You just, uh, let's go do this one again. That's it. I'm not doing that one again for now. So let's see, this video is actually longer than I thought anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it made your Monday either a little bit better or distracted you from the misery of a Monday. Uh, if it did, please leave me a comment letting me know. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I try to do these every Monday. If you want to see more of them now though, just look in the description. There's going to be a playlist. Gameplay Mondays has all the previous ones I've done. And until next time guys, have a good rest of your week and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Got to put my initials in really quick. Even though I don't, I don't think, oh it does save them. It saved a previous run I did where I apparently did better.